We're talking all things organization using keywords or key phrases and a tag system. Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody back to the channel. This is 2530 Media and I am Aaron Reed. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're familiar with the channel and you're enjoying the information that you're receiving, well, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button. So today we're going to revisit the tag system. Now we did talk about tags in an earlier video where I showed you guys my workflow of building that table of contents or an index using a mixture of the outline tool and tags. Now today we're gonna to talk specifically about tags and how you can create a tag. We're gonna dive into some tag management and we're just gonna show you what books will allow you to do with those tags. In the book system, you can apply up to five tags to a keyword or phrase. Those tags are also searchable through the notes app. They're not globally searchable, so if you're working in a PDF, there's no way for you to actually tag a keyword or a phrase and kind of like apply that to some other information that you're working on in other places. The tag system only functions searchable inside of the notes app that is native to the 10.3 or the books platform that I know of right now. So let's take a look at the tag system and how you can create, delete, and manage those tags within your notes app. So now let's talk about the tags system on your books device. I'm using a 10.3 and what we're going to do is talk about how you can actually create a tag. There are a couple of ways. So the first way that we're going to do it is inside our notes app. So we're in the notes app that is native to the device. We're going to select the notebook that I'm working in. And as you can see, I already have a couple of things that I've made tags. We're going to just find a keyword that we want to make a new tag for. So what we'll do is we'll write a word out. So once you have your keyword or phrase that you would like to attach a tag to, go ahead and use your smart lasso and select that keyword. Now that we've done that, you'll notice that your AI tools are going to appear at the top here. We're going to get our tags. Once we've selected tags, you have a couple of options. Now you can leave that keyword or phrase, the actual name and apply that as a tag. Outside of that, you can choose from your recently created tags. So if you have some tags that you want to associate with that keyword or phrase, you can go ahead and select those as well. Now, Books gives you the option of up to five tags that you can apply to one keyword or phrase. So we'll leave uh, Aaron as the keyword and then we'll add a couple of more tags to it. So we'll add the test tag, EMR, uh, Lamy All-Star, and we will do tags demo. Once you have your tags selected that you would like to apply to that keyword or phrase, you simply hit OK. Now we've applied those tags to that keyword or phrase. So another way that you can create a tag for your work, while you're in the home page of your notes app, go ahead and get your menu. From there, we're going to select the options. Now, once you get into your options for your notes app, you'll see that you have tag management down here. Now, once you're in the tag management window, there are a couple of things that we can do. First off, it's going to show you all of your tags that you have created in your notes app. It's going to let you know how many pages that tag is associated with. It's also going to give you the option if you would like to delete those tags. When you delete the tag, you're not deleting the information. You're just deleting the tag that you created for that keyword or phrase. If you want to sort your tags, you can sort them in most recently created or the oldest created. And you'll do that with this button right here. While on your tags view, you'll have the name of the tag and when it was created. 
So let's say that you're about to start working on a new project while you're in your tax management window. And you already know that you want to create a couple of different tags that you're going to assign to some keywords or phrases. If you want to do that before you start doing your work, you can click in this plus button. And what that will do is give you the ability to add a tag. So let's just add a tag. Now, once I create this, now I've added a new tag uh, called demo tag. And you see here, there are no pages associated with it because we have not associated any keywords or phrases to that tag. However, that tag is available for us to use. And I'll show you guys that. Let's go to another notebook. So now that we're back in another notebook, we will find a word that we want to associate with that new tag that we created. So now that I've done that, you see this is the new tag we created, the demo tag. Now let's say I don't want to name um, this keyword or phrase a tag as well. I just want to add it to my demo tag. I can just simply Erase the name that was there at first for that keyword or phrase. Now I don't have one here, but it will be associated with the demo tag. Once I hit OK, I've made that keyword or phrase a tag that is searchable by the main tag's name that I created, which was demo tag. So now if you want to search your tags throughout your entire notebook system on the 10.3, all you have to do from the home page of your notes app is click on the search magnifying selector. And from there, it gives you all the ways that you can search information throughout the notes app. So right now we have it selected as tags and we're going to look in all of our folders. So the first thing that we'll search is that tag that we labeled demo tag. So now that it's searched, it pulls up the one word that we named demo tag is going to tell us what page it's on and it's going to tell us the location of the note. So this tag was made in um, my tags demo notebook and it's on page three. And now I'm at page three. This is the keyword or phrase that I tagged as demo tag. So let's search a couple of other tags. Uh, let's search Lamy AL star. So now everything that I've tagged Lamy AL star, it's going to tell me again the name of the tag, the page number the tag is on, and also the location of the tag. So now it took me to another notebook where I have the Lamy AL star EMR tag. So if you ever need to delete a tag, you go back to that tags management system. And if you want to delete a tag, you can do it a couple of ways. You can just select the delete icon on the line of the tag that you want to delete. Or you can hit this selector tool, which will allow you to select multiple tags at once. Now, when you are deleting these tags, you're not deleting the information that is on the page. The only thing that you're deleting is that keyword or phrase being tagged to that actual tag. So now I've removed the tags from those keywords or phrases that I had in those notebooks. However, my information is still going to be there. So some of the words keywords or phrases might have lost that tag that was associated with it. However, the information will still be in your notebook. So pretty much we just went over kind of like how I create tags and use them within my workflow. We talked about tag management, how you can add or delete tags, how to actually create the tags inside the notebook app or in your tag management window when you're working in that. Some of the things that I wish books would improve with the Tags app is actually have a way for me to search tags globally. 
Meaning if I'm working in a PDF and Neo reader and I wanted to tag a word or key phrase that's going to associate with some notebooks that I'm working in inside the notes app, I wish we had a way to be able to create those tags and have those tags be able to be searched globally throughout the device, whether if it's in the Neo reader on PDFs or EPUB or if it's inside of my notes app in a workbook that I'm working in. Another thing that I wish books would kind of tweak or change is give me the ability to add more than just five tags to one keyword or phrase. Sometimes I might want to have more than five tags associated with that keyword or phrase because I might be working on some work that might require it. But drop me a comment. Let me know what platform you guys are using. If you're not using a books platform, let me know what platform you're using and how they actually handle this management of tags or searchable keywords or phrases. If you guys think those systems work better, or if you think the book system works better. Again, thank you guys for checking out the content. Look out for more videos.